Timothy Warehill's winning screenplay is Tyrone and the Looking Glass. The script chronicles the quest of a black boy in 1963 Alabama to find the magical treasure he needs to defeat a dragon intent on destroying him and his family. Timothy would like to dedicate his nickel win to his loving husband, Barry Warehill. Please join me in welcoming Timothy to the stage. Oh, thank you. Wow. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna uh, be a lemming and sit this down on the floor. Oh gosh, thank you. Uh, I would like to thank the Academy <laughs> and all of the nickel, all the committee members. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for this wonderful evening. Thank you for changing my life and our lives. Um, I have to, they already mentioned my husband, so I will continue with that and thank my husband, Barry Warehill, who is here. Uh, I want to thank my other guests who are here as well. Uh, Mary Gorak, who's a family friend. Uh, Janet Jeffries, who's a dear friend and mentor of mine. My uh, managers from the Gotham Group, Matt and Ellen goldsmith Thane, and their assistant, Daniel. Um, and uh, dear friend Terry Shropshire and Daniel Guzman, thank you guys for being here to support me. I wrote Tyrone and the Looking Glass because I wanted to tell the story about the young black heroes from the Civil Rights Movement. I grew up in Montgomery, Alabama my parents told me stories of growing up in the South during the Civil Rights Movement, being kids during the Montgomery bus boycott. And my grandmother told me stories about being a housekeeper. And often the movies that portray that era, the Jim Crow South, the Civil Rights Movement, they're rarely told from the point of view of a child. And we often forget that the children were the heroes in a lot of the movements because their parents were afraid or it was too big of a risk to march out of fear of losing their, their work. And if you lose your work, you lose your home, you lose your food, you lose the little security that you have. Um, I love storytelling, you all. Most of my career was on the stage as a performer and I find that when I write, it's often to encourage and to find hope through the protagonist and their journey. And uh, I wanna just read a little something that I wanna write to, that I wrote to use to encourage you all, cause we are all most of us are all artists in here, but we're all humans and we're going day to day. And I think of Tyrone and his journey as this young protagonist fights for uh, his civil rights. He's been tasked by his father to integrate an all white high school and the fear that comes along with that. But this is for all of us. You ever feel like you've been running in place going in circles with your tail in your face, constantly losing ground when the road swept away, watching others move forward when you're made to stay. You've got this. You ever feel like it's over before you even begin? The stench of defeat just lingers in the wind as it pushes you backwards to start near the end, just to run the same race all over again? You got this. You're closer than you think. The things that scare us most when faced makes it impossible for you to break. The very thing you overcome is the thing that makes you great. Your destiny's on the other side, your toes upon the brink. You got this. 
Though tears escape from weary eyes or head hangs low to mask your cries, you may even start to compromise what you believe is true. Just don't forget that tears, they dry. The pain you feel will pass you by and soon enough you'll realize the power is still in you. Just like the sun that shines its rays, regardless of clear skies or haze or foggy nights or cloudy days or absent from your view, you just have to fully know the seeds you plant, the time you sow, requires rain, some growing pains to sturdy roots below. And over time you will find, but you have to give it time. Your harvest will be plentiful. Your world will start to grow. I'm telling you, you got this. Now pick yourself up off the ground. It won't be the last time you fall down, but each time you'll learn to land a different way. And with every bump and bruise and each new note to fill your blues, inside there waits a brand new tune to play. But there is no pump and circumstance till you get up and try again like every great that's seen the ground before. The only way to reach new heights, the only way that you'll take flight is when resistance pulls you back. The further down, the lack of slack, then when released, you're coming back. Now spread your wings and soar. You got this. These are the words that I think Tyrone hears from his father in the scene that these talented actors are about to read, which is when Tyrone meets Mr. Solid South. Remember that name, look him up, there's a picture. Mr. Solid South. Mr. Solid South uh, runs a confectionery store, a candy store, and Tyrone sees one of his treasures uh, that he has to reach, and Mr. Solid South asks him several questions similar to uh, poll tax that many blacks, Negroes, coloreds had to answer in order to vote back in the day. So uh, thank you. This is uh, Tyrone and the Looking Glass. Thank you. 